ang resolution is not favorable to them. Is um, gi allow ba ni sa prosecutor's office na to nga they file another affidavit complaint of similar nature? Pwede ra gyud kay wala may double jeopardy sa prosecutor's office. Mm-hmm. Unlike in court, once na acquit ang ang akusado in court sa korte, di ka pwede mo refile because that would be tantamount to double jeopardy. But considering that in the prosecutor's office, wala man taan ng double jeopardy, mm-hmm. pwede ragin siya ma-refile. Mm-hmm. Wala well, prejudice. Wala well, yeah. prejudice. As long as it's still within mm-hmm. the prescriptive period. Right. Saan? So at least na clarify na. Mm-hmm. So what will happen now nga na nay resolution what will happen next? Okay, so kung naa nay resolution, no? Kung nag-motion for recon, na resolve na ang mm-hmm. motion for reconsideration. Now for example, it is for filing in court then so after all those kanang remedy, no, na human na, our office will going to proceed mm-hmm. and file it in court. Ang kaso kung mm-hmm. if it's for filing. Mm-hmm. So, if it's for dismissal, then there's no problem. It dismiss. Mm-hmm. So, pag abot sa korte, once it is filed in court, mm-hmm. our office, the prosecutor's office, loses its jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. What na may jurisdiction, Anna? So, any pleading na imong i-file with our office with respect to that uh, case already filed in court, mm-hmm. we cannot anymore act on it. Mm-hmm. Prosecutor, um, are the reviewing or rather the investigating officers or investigating prosecutors the same prosecutors who would be uh, litigating the case when it gets to court it depends mm-hmm. because our prosecutors who are uh, assigned in kanang naami kanya kanyang korte and we call it ang tawag ana sa amo is resident prosecutor tungod kay residente na gyud kadinha so kung if it happens nga ang imuhang gi resolve nga kaso no pag-abot sa korte pareho gyapo na ruffling mm. kung pag-abot sa korte na raffle sa imuhang court mm. no ang kaso nga imong gi-resolve sa, sa prosecutor's office then you will be the one to litigate it mm. kani makadungog niyo ta um, once the case is raffled in court ang um, akusado nag motion for investigation siya unsa man ning motion for investigation ang kanang motion for investigation is also a remedy Uh-oh. Uh, available mm. to the accused, you know, mm. or sometimes to the complainant, the mm. private complainant, um, a remedy nga magpa reinvestigar siya, ipabalik ang kaso diri sa among opisina mm. para imbestigaron og usab mm. for a valid reason pananglitan mm-hmm. wala siya nakafile pananglitan wa siya natagaan og opportunity nga makafile siya sa iyang counter affidavit mm. so kung wala siya nakafile og ganyang counter affidavit medyo na ay problema sa atong due process mm-hmm. no nga op, kana kana nga right to due process na among gyud atong batakang balaod mm-hmm. nga kinahanglan ang akusado na agtagaan gyud sa og oportunidad nga maka tubag siya so mo na ibalik diri sa among opisina mm-hmm. ang katong kaso unya mm-hmm. rapulo na sad siya mm-hmm. irapol na sad siya kung kinsay mo handle sa reinvestigation so it's not the resident prosecutor who handles it depende ah. kung ang court mo order mm. ang court na ang mag-conduct sa reinvestigation is the resident prosecutor mm. then it would be the resident prosecutor mm. but if the order of the court will just will direct mm. the office of the city prosecutor mm. the city prosecutor will be the one to have that ruffled off mm. among Mm-hmm. the prosecutors. Uh-huh. Ang finding aning sa motion for investigation, does it need concurrence pa sa um, approving prosecutor or sa itong city prosecutor or no more na? It needs a the same process. At ah, the same, same process. The, the motion for investigation, the resolution oh. or the report of the uh, prosecutor handling the reinvestigation will go through ah, the, the reviewing oh. officer. Mm-hmm. And from the reviewing officer, it goes to the approving officer mm. and then after that he filed as a court mm. Mm. so really it goes through a very thorough process still oh more sad more sad sa di siya sa kanang preliminary investigation yes, nga process correct. kung mo agi siya motion for investigation no unya ako na siyang i i emphasize nga ang motion for reinvestigation has to be filed within 5 days mm. from 
the time nga ang akusado nakahibaw sa nga naay kaso or information gi filed against sa iyaha in court mm. and it has to be before arraignment Mm. At least klaro na ta. Nga dapat before arraignment and within 5 days the accused no nga na siya pending mm -hmm. nga na -a. kaso. Kaning naabot naman gyud ta ni ma'am. So um nahuman naman tag story aning preliminary investigation. Let's move now to inquest preliminary investigation. Unsa man ning inquest preliminary investigation? Kini atong inquest proceedings no. Mm -hmm. Applicable ni siya sa mga arrested uh, persons mm -hmm. nga ang arrest niya is without a warrant of arrest mm -hmm. no kay ang ang ato man kung pag-aresto ana it should as a general rule mm -hmm. should be by virtue of a warrant of arrest mm -hmm. issued by a court mm -hmm. ang ang instance na pwedeng mag-aresto even without a warrant of arrest issued by the court is what we call a warrantless arrest no mm -hmm. nga na ay mga instances lang nga kanus aka or kanus a pwede magaresto mo nay mo nay atong kuan so again kaning inquest proceedings applicable niya applicable ni siya sa mga arrested persons mm -hmm. no and the arrest is without a warrant of arrest mm -hmm. mo na siya kani for the benefits sa tong viewers ba kaning arrest can be um, it can be done by citizens dili lang ni pwede dili lang ni limited to our uniformed officers yes mo ni atong gitawag og citizens arrest og mubuo na gani nila sitar <laughs> sitar uh -oh. s i t a r uh -oh. citizens arrest yes. no so pwede na siya nga maaresto sa og private mm -hmm. uh, person dili police mm -hmm. as long as mao gihapon na ang requirement under the rules no and um, is present mm -hmm. nga pwede ang private citizen makaaresto mm -hmm. but after siya makaaresto anang kana nga person no kinahangla na niyang iyahang i turn over sa nearest police station mm -hmm. iya gyud nang i turn over dili siya maoy mag kustodiya ana mm -hmm. kay usually what happens nga kung naay crime mahitabo wa man gyud police atong vicinity di ba mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. then we usually call the police na for assistance mm -hmm. para ma restrain ang accused or unsay tawag ba na nila ka ng for him to hold the accused. So, what happens kung mag-citizens arrest ta, we turn him over to the police. Yes. Ang uh -oh. muhimo, who makes the affidavit of arrest in this case? Ang muhimo sa affidavit of arrest is the katong, katong nagsitar. Mm -hmm. The private person who made the arrest. Mm -hmm. Unya, iya lang ibutang din ha sa iyahang affidavit of arrest mm -hmm. that it is with the assistance mm -hmm. of police officer Baron Ingon Ana. Iyang ibutang dito. Mm -hmm. Mana siya ang iyahang ibutang. Because otherwise, kung walay affidavit of arrest during inquest proceedings, mm -hmm. kanang dili valid mm -hmm. ang inquest because dili siya pwede ma-under inquest because it requires kay arrested ba ya? Mm -hmm. Di ba mo? Netong giiwan ganina, yes. arrested. So you have to have an affidavit of arrest. Mm -hmm. So absence the affidavit of arrest, mahagbong sa og regular preliminary investigation in which case that the arrested person has to be released. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ona for purposes of clarification kay mergdaghan kay ni mahitabo na to nga nay crime na hitabo sa balay let's say nay nag indiscriminate firing nanawag sila police mm -hmm. dayon ni responde ang police pag abot dito gitudlo-tudlo sa silingan nga maunay ang nagpaputo mm -hmm. og pusil pwede ba na dakpon ina ana Pwede sa dakpon kay naaman ang ang kantong nagsulti nga mauna siya ang mm. nagkuan nag indiscriminate, indiscriminate fire. firing oh. mao to siya maoy mo arrest so ang citizen may mo arrest yes may mo arrest and then the police nga iyahang gitawag para mo responde oh. maoy mo assisti sa iyaha mm. in the arrest mm. why tungod kay ang police manggod pag abot niya wa man siya personal knowledge mm. about the indiscriminate firing mm -hmm. the circumstances surrounding mm kanang alleged indiscriminate firing. Mm -hmm. So, in effect, dili siya pwedeng mahimong arresting officer. Mm -hmm. Kay wala siya nag-qualify sa warrantless mm -hmm. arrest. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's that's clear, no? Um fiscal uh, attorney March, maybe you also have some thoughts on this, no? So, ang citizens, ang citizen inflicting or doing the citizens arrest um, should be or is, is responsible to really follow through on the on the complaint or the affidavit that that the police requires or what do you mean by follow through 
uh, is he required to probably execute affidavits yes. to really support be a witness from day one to the end of the proceedings yes the person who uh, uh, effected the arrest mm -hmm. no katong private person who effected the sitar the citizens arrest mm -hmm. has to execute an affidavit mm -hmm. no has to execute an affidavit nga siya maoy nagaresto mm -hmm. uh, by virtue of a citizens arrest mm -hmm. and then ang katong ning, ning assist nga police officer pwede ra sad siya nga mukig joint affidavit adtong arresting uh, uh, person kay mahitabo ani ang mga police officers usually they don't have personal knowledge kay ni responde pa mi sa man gyud sila didto de ba sa panghitabo gyud mm. pwede pwede ra sad og naa sa mga instances na pagresponde o sahay pagresponde nila pagtawag maingon o oh, kanang naa dire armed person mm -hmm. no armed person so responde mm -hmm. so pagabot kung makita man sa pulis po mm -hmm. nga arm gyud mm -hmm. so meaning to say na anay personal knowledge naka-acquire na og personal knowledge ang atong police officer mm -hmm. tungod kay nakit-an gyud niya in flagrante mm -hmm. delicto which mm -hmm. is one of the circumstances nga pwede ang warrantless arrest no makita na sa pulis nga tinuod arm so naka-acquire na siya og personal knowledge so pwede na siya maka-effect mm -hmm. sa, sa sa arrest so kanang panahuna it's not anymore a sitar a citizen's arrest but it's already an arrest effected by our police yes. officer so ang mag-execute karon sa imong affidavit of arrest would be the police officer na mm -hmm. pwede ra to niyang ibutang sa iyang affidavit of arrest nga they got an information mm -hmm. from a concerned citizen or kung naa man siya kung okay ra nga maghatag sa ngalan so kinsay informant mm -hmm. right and then when they went to the area nakakita sila gyud in flagrante delicto that the person is armed pwede rin na siya ma-mention mm. sa affidavit of arrest. And fiscal or inquest proceedings done Monday to Saturday, Monday to Sunday, is it available 24-7? Actually, ang, ang, ang manual for prosecutors mm. na mo, mm. no? uh, nag-ingon siya nga 24-7 mm -hmm. ang inquest proceedings. Yes. Pero, kanang 24-7 mang good, applicable na siya sa mga lugar nga pwedeng mag-24-7. Mm -hmm. Like, Manila, like mm. Quezon City, mm. na anak sila 24-7 nga inquest. Uh -huh. mm. In fact, na ay mga prosecutors nga mga tugyud sa police sa, sa presinto mm. para ato mag-inquest. Mm -hmm. But in our case, sa Palace of Justice, sa Cebu City Prosecutor's Office, before nahitabo ang lino, mm -hmm. you know, our inquest is from Monday through Saturday mm -hmm. in the morning, until the morning. Mm -hmm. But after sa Earthquake. Earthquake. <laughs> Giundang sa namo ang Sabado, mm -hmm. which until now, wala pa mi makabalik sa Saturday. Mm -hmm. so for the information, everybody, our is just from Monday up to Friday inquest. 8 to 5. 8 to 5. Okay. okay. So, unsa may mahitabuan ni kung madakpan ko on a Saturday o Sunday? Oh, well, we have to wait until Monday. Oh. Kay sirado man ang office. Mm -hmm. So, magpaabot until... Monday, kung mm. ma kung office day man na, kung di man na holiday, mm. no? Kaya kung holiday, ato ka sa the next uh, mm -hmm. office uh, day. Uh, ato na siya dito. Mada. So, in the, in the meantime, fiscal, he will stay in prison, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. For the meanwhile, ato siya dito mo remain in the custody of asa man to nga. Mag-reflect sa siya of what he did yes. or did not do. <laughs> <laughs> Plan yeah. out his oh. next or her next move. Oh, na. <laughs> okay, before we continue, let's take a break. And we're back with Prosecutor Rabilias. Good evening. I think we've been talking about um, inquest proceedings so oh. far. Oh. And what if na detain or oh. what if um, walang opisina? No. Oh. So Unsay process? Been, yes, we've been getting some um, pretty clear answers also from Prosecutor Rabilias about So, it. unsa man yun ni ma'am? Let's say... Um, You've been arrested, di ba naman the mandatory time nga mahold ka? It's 12, it's either 12 hours, 18 hours, or 36 hours. So, ang counting ani na to is from the time of arrest. Atong klarohan. From yes. the time you are detained. Yes. Yes. Oh. Now, para sa information of everybody, kanang 12, 18, 36, ang sama na siya. Ang 12, kung ang salaud nga nakumit is slight. 
-hmm. light offense mm -hmm. no kung light offense na akay 12 hours mm -hmm. from the time of arrest na kinahanglan madala na ang imong are, ang imong arrested person ma file na nimo ang kaso with our office mm -hmm. no ang 18 kung less grave mm -hmm. ang offense og ang 36 kung grave ang offense like murder mm -hmm. like violation sa ato ang kanang arma sa mga drugs mm -hmm. mga mga example of a grave offense mm -hmm. so ang counting is from the date of the arrest mm -hmm. now so mo count na ka ang consideration sa ana is according to the manual mm -hmm. for prosecutors you also have to consider the office hour of the government office. Mm -hmm. Kinsa man ang government office. So, in, in terms of filing the case, ari man na mo i-file sa among opisina, sa prosecutor's office, mo consider sad ka kung may opisina ba ang fiscal's office or wala. Mm -hmm. Kay even if gustuhon siya ni mo i-file na sa korte, mm -hmm. kung sirado ang among opisina, unsaon man na ni mo. Bisa mm -hmm. nga, ning biyan na ka sa 12 hours, maghuwat siya ka dito sa amuhang portahan, kay aron nga maghuwat ka kanus sa open. No? So, we have to consider also the office hour of the prosecutor's office. So, kaning 12, 18, 36, di ni siya mo run kung beyond office hours na, let's say, ang office hours na to 8 to 5 man. So, kung nadakpan ka og 6 p.m., di ni mo run for clarification lang. Yes. Kay even if mahuman siya ni mo mm. from 6 o'clock, for example, mm -hmm. unya, unsa may ika, unsa mang orasa nga nag 12 hours na siya, mm. What time man? Attorney March, mat man So, i-count na siya ni mo. Kunya, after oh. the 12 hours, no? in the 12 hours, mm -hmm. sirado gihapon ang atong opisina, oh. kay wa pa yung alas utso. Oh. No? Mm -hmm. So, sirado pa. So, dili siya ni mo ma-count gihapon, oh. tungod kay sirado ang opisina.